you're not going to have to worry about it drying up. You have some time to, uh, to work. So, let's do it. Um, have a nice driver here. And we will set this, uh, the first arm up. You're going to have to do this four times. Um, I'm just going to do one for you. And, um, I'd like to do, to crank these down, um, just get them started, get them kind of hand tight. The thread locker in there, you don't have to worry as much about them coming loose. And once you get them in there hand tight, just go around and lightly loosen those, each one. And once you are ready to kind of crank them in there a little bit more, go in a diagonal. But don't overdo this, or you will strip it out. So that motor is in there pretty nice and tight. Okay. I can still see my uh, three there. Um, I can't see my little counterclockwise symbol. Now, um, you want to keep this heat shrink in there if you can. Just be really careful with the motor leads. I'm probably going to come back and run these motor leads under. Have them come up uh, on the underside here and in. And use some uh, wire wraps. I'll show you how that looks. Again, keep your ESC facing up. And I'm um, just going to go, as you go along here, you may want to test, gonna test spin these up. That's what we're going to do right now. Gonna grab a, uh, a prop. Okay, I have uh, props here, and uh, if you look at them, they have um, key notations here, 1045, that means it's a 10 inch prop, what is it, it's a 10 inch, 10 inch prop and a 4-5 pitch, it says R, which I believe means regular rotation. Okay, so this one is going to go for reverse, or no, regular maybe, regular rotation, or clockwise. Um, I do have another prop here. Um, let's see here, 45. This is a 1045 without the arm. So this one is a reverse. This one goes counterclockwise. The one with the R goes clockwise. So the R, I guess, indicates regular or clockwise. So since this one, this arm is our front left, and it's supposed to be running clockwise at the right prop here. Okay. Let me show you how these prop adapters work. And this one is really on here. Be gentle with these uh, prop adapters. Um, you don't want to bang them up too much. But this is how they work. So here's your spindle and hub. It goes on there like that. 
your prop goes on. If you ha you should have little prop adapters, you should use those or you're going to get some wobbles. And um, the end cap here. So that's how that guy goes on there. And let's just give this a quick balancing before we mount it here. I'm not going to spend a whole ton of time on that, but we can just do that really quickly. This is a, uh, a balancer here, and I'm, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing this at this point because I'm, I'm actually not going to use these props. But um, we'll, we'll do uh, a real quick job on that. I have another, I have carbon, some nice carbon fiber props that I'm going to use. Uh, this is, you don't even actually need, need one of these. This one's actually, I'm having a tough time with it. Threads aren't. It's not really threading there. I'm trying to other end. Try that again. Okay. So you really should have uh, something to this on well. I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this for now. Um, it's really just as simple as checking the balance. You can see that that end is the, is the heavy side. Flip it over, kind of double check it. So that side is heavy. What I'm going to do is Mark that at that the tip of this one because this is the heavy uh, side. So I know it's this is the heavy side. Nicer to use a black, but this is what I have handy here. Okay, there's the heavy side, and let's add some tape to the light side. I'm not going to go too crazy with this at this point. Wait, mess that up. Okay. This to be pretty nice and, uh, nice and smooth. Um, you could spend a heck of a lot of time on this. Um, I'm not going to really do that for this copter. Um, I'm not really going to be using it. Just to give you an idea how that works, you, we might need to add quite a bit of tape here to get it to really be in ba uh, balance. But you can see, let's see if it's any better here. So it's actually already better, you can tell. Um, that one side is still more heavy, so let's do one more quick piece of tape and we'll call this a done deal. Smooth. Gonna make this really smooth. Um, yeah, I don't really like having to do this too much. I mean, you get quality props. Um, you won't have to do this so much. Um, but that's this is these are cheap props. You do want to, you, you will want to check these. I mean, if you have vibrations, it's going to make it um, vibrate in the air. You're, you're trying to do a video, um, you're going to get vibrations in your video. So you can now you can see that side is actually the heavier side. Good enough. I think it was actually more in balance when I only had the one piece of tape on there. But you get the idea. So, our prop balancer. Let's try this guy out. And another cool part about that is when it spins up it helps you actually see the tips of the blade a little bit better there. 
put our little prop adapter on there. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's spin this guy up. Uh, spin this motor up. Make sure we are all good to go here. Uh, my radio. right off the bat that this motor is going clockwise and that's perfect for what we're trying to do here uh, <coughs> okay and let's see take a metal uh, wrench or screwdriver, lighten this guy up. Be very, very careful when you're doing this. Um, these props can take your fingers off. That's it. This arm is pretty much ready to go. Um, so, um, basically it's just sorting out the wiring and uh, So you're going to need to do each arm like this, and um, that's it for the arms. So build, do all four arms, get the orientation right, and we will check back in with you in a bit. Thank you. Watch your eyes when you're uh, doing this type of testing. Let's just um, do a little uh, throttle test here and just make sure this this motor is good to go before we uh, shut all this stuff down. It's actually cutting out on me. I'm not sure why it's doing that. feeling pretty good. It's got a good amount of power. Um, we can actually lower that a little bit and let's just uh, run this guy for a little bit. Thanks for watching.